It takes a bit longer than the split second. <laughs> I know. Or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. What do I know? Well, I mean, what's 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 the what's the belief systems? What books should I read so I can get more oh. into it? Well, I kind of read everything from uh, astrology books. Uh, Dane Rudyard, who was a great mm-hmm. astrologer from the thirties. Okay. And uh, Michael Meyer, his protege, I okay. got to know as well. Okay. And he was, he's great, he's still around. And, okay. Uh, so is, is, is there Astrology, a... then it was me, and then it was tarot cards. Mm-hmm. Don't laugh, they're very, they're ancient. Mm-hmm. All the imagery, it's, it unlocks, mm-hmm. you know, it's subconscious. It, mm-hmm. That's all parts of ourselves we haven't really so investigated. It's like our bodies are ancient. Mm. And it goes back, you know, uh, our everyday consciousness, I believe, is only a small part of what we really are. Mm-hmm. We haven't really, you know, it's like Carl Jung said towards the end, end of his life. Mm. The, he researched and investigated the mind. Carl Jung. his life. Carl, Carl Jung. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Carl uh, Jung. J U N G. J U N G. And um, he said that that we, t- towards the end of his life, he said we know so little about the mind. Mm. We need to find out more about what's going on in the mind. We don't know where it is. Is it there or there or there or oh, consciousness. in your pocket? Oh, consciousness. Right. And then I, I know when you had had your incident, that, that unlocked some more things for you. Like, very, you have different perceptions. Very, um, yeah. Not pleasant, but... <laughs> Did it hurt? That's a good question, no. You're just there and then suddenly you couldn't move? Or? Couldn't do anything. Wow. What was amazing about it was the fact that um, I was fully conscious, or even more conscious in a way, mm. because it was like, I, all of a sudden I felt like I knew everybody that I met. Wow. It was like... Oh, you unta- You opened up all those doors? Yeah. Wow. And I, I want to do that. Yeah, but I didn't choose to do it that time. It just... <laughs> But Happen. everything came. Everything came at once. You, you, it was just crystal clear. And what was it incredible? It made how it appeared to me was that we we know each other. Mm. Now we think we're strangers, and, mm. and uh, okay. but on certain levels we that know what's going on. It's like we've we've read the script over and over again. We've met all the characters in the piece. Are we good? Okay, Mike, we are ready for the sleep. All right, right here. Everything's rolling. All right, Dave Davies, 2017. Hey, this is Mike, and you're watching Real Black. And wow, um, what an honor, what a privilege today. I mean, I know generally this is black, black film, black consciousness, black entertainment. But you know, I'm here with everybody has a hero. I'm here with one of mine. Uh, this this gentleman. If you don't know him by face, you know the sound because um, it's influenced so much of the music that we we experience today. Um, just a rock and roll legend, a legend of music in general, rock and roll Hall of Fame member, sold millions of records, uh, and he's here with us in New Hope, Dave Davies. Good, uh, Good to meet you, Mike. Yes, founder uh, and lead guitarist for the Kinks. So thank, thanks for <laughs> agreeing to do this. It's so good to finally meet you. I'm Actually, um, I should say, uh, first off, you know, you're such an influence to me, right? You got me through so many tough times with the Kinks music, you know, in, in my uh, uh, high school years and my college years. Didn't need antidepressants when you got She's Got uh-huh. Everything and All Day and All the Night. I mean, the oh, guitar sure. chords, just an inspiration to me. So, but I'm, I'm here to, I'm just curious, what were some of your inspirations in terms of? Well, music is like, I was a young kid, 13, 14, now we're talking. and I loved the guitar. And everything about the guitar I loved. I'd listen to anything and everything mm. from like oh, Elvis to oh, Lead Belly. Lead Belly was a big influence because mm-hmm. he has um, a kind of really, something really dirty and mm-hmm. hidden about his music. And uh, of course, I was a big fan of Big Bob Brunzi. And he was like the, he, he was a great singer. He wrote great, the great songs. 
and was a great player. Mm -hmm. So he had all the, the, the influences that I picked up and trying to copy what he was right. doing badly. Right. Now, you're <laughs> um, in Muswell Hill. I mean, was Skiffle the big thing? Skiffle was big, but um, I never really took it seriously because it's more like a um, jug band type thing, parties, okay. weekends, with the folk, sort of okay. like folk music, really, okay. in a way, which, but growing up in Muswell Hill, it felt more like folk music okay. we were doing. Because all my sisters played the piano, my dad played banjo, so we'd sit around the piano and right. play a load of tunes that we picked up. And I was also a big fan of Hank Williams. Okay. Because I think he was really so, an important influence. The whole rock thing was to come. So when when does the rock and roll thing come? Like there's there's so much uh, the first. Honestly, um, I mean I knew about Chuck Berry, but I didn't know a lot of his deep catalog until. That first Kinks album, uh, Chuck Berry covers. We did. <laughs> yes. So when? How did? I mean, Chuck, Mr. Berry just passed. I mean, what? What, so what was sad, that? But yes. like he was ninety. He yes. did pretty good. Yeah. Not bad. Big, big influence, mm -hmm. of course. And we used to um, everything we could get a hold of. Mm. And Sweet Little Sixteen was obviously a big. It had a big game, but mm -hmm. impact on me because it wasn't just the. And it was the songs, the sound, the tone, the mm -hmm. vibration of it. Right. You know, you pick up on that. It's, it's like uh, uh, many, some years later when we had a record called All Day and All of the Night Art, mm -hmm. and uh, I met um, someone, in, uh, an Australian guy that was, grew up in the outback. Mm -hmm. right? And uh, he, he said he heard all day on the radio in the outback. And he said, that was it, I'm going to America and wow. form a band. And he got into movies and mm -hmm. so it's like this the information that's being passed on. Yeah, it goes, music. It, start, it started in Chicago and it went across the, the ocean, yeah. basically to you, your hands. And yeah, it's, it's weird. And not, you got the Ramones it's not weird. and the Maybe pretenders. it's more normal, normal than we realise. Yeah. That the communication music is like instant. Mm. And the registers on, you know, hidden layers or deeper layers of uh, consciousness or being or whatever. Well, the, yeah, that was one of the things we were, we were talking about, like, your in your book. I mean, I know, I know you're, I mean, there's clearly beyond our perception, there are lots of things going on. Oh, absolutely. Of course. But it's like what we're doing now, the bits we can see and hear, is probably just a tiny bit of it, mm -hmm. than the energy that's already going on happening. Right, and if we all... Which is exciting. We, if we were to know, if we, were, if, if, we, if we were to see all, if we were to be able to perceive everything. What an exciting time, really. We we're finding out sciences, finding out um, all kinds of things that they thought was impossible right. years ago. But now we're, you know, we're really... T I know times of deep change, mm -hmm. but that's what we need sometimes to find out right. what's going on and come right. to terms with it. Yeah, I think people... Music is an art, sorry. No, it's go a for it. great way of breaking down barriers and getting information and communication. Mm -hmm. No, that's, that's, that was, I mean, I, the, my fir the first show I ever bought a ticket for was Kinks Think Visual at the oh, Mad Music cool. Center. Yeah, that's so nice. so I was, I was there and... Um, yeah, I mean, it's so it, like it, it's think visual. So, um, okay, yeah. I've always been. Um, I always think when writing a song or trying to come up with ideas, I see it mm -hmm. like a script. Uh, that's why I love screenplays. Mm. When you read screenplays, it dispenses of all the details and gets down to the high angle on someone. They're moving there. Someone else comes in, right. and you document it as right. you see it. Right. So songwriting is very visual. Well, yeah, and I think that's what that's why I wanted to talk to you about, just in terms of like the barriers, the perceived barriers. I mean, race being a barrier. I know, like, uh, I mean, but but when you're talking about music and creativity and art and energy, that's that's really art, very artificial. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think it's you know it's. Um, You know, we have, uh, when we become artists, I mean, maybe we're all artists, mm -hmm. we just express ourselves differently. Mm -hmm. But 
self-expression, when you start to develop your own form of self-expression, mm-hmm. it's beyond um, any kind of racial country. Mm-hmm. You know, I think music and art has taught me more about humanity than about religion or, or a type of person mm-hmm. or a creed. Mm-hmm. So it's humanity, humanity I think, mm-hmm. is what we need to look for, in that, not only in ourselves, in each other. Right. And I think, and um, yeah. that's, our, I think that's our lesson in yeah. my way of thinking. And, and, I mean, Justin was telling something about your upbringing, like, I mean, the cross-cultural things growing up in well, Muswell Hill, or? Uh, only with music, really. Okay. I mean, I lived, we lived, Muswell Hill is, was predominantly a white middle class mm-hmm. suburb of London. Mm-hmm. And, um, but um, I had six sisters and an older brother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, um, and there was a big, big event in our family. I mean, you think about the 50s. Mm-hmm. The, um, uh, my sister got pregnant mm-hmm. by an African mm-hmm. guy. Oh. You imagine the uproar wow. in um, Let Alone Muscle Hill. Mm. And Jackie was born, and uh, yeah, and I treated her like my sister. Mm. And uh, my my mother, who was her grandmother, brought her up virtually as her own daughter. Mm. But I remember I used to, have to take Jackie to school. I'm sure Jackie won't mind me saying this. Mm. And uh, it was horrible, quite ugly. Really? The children, not the adults so much, but the kids can be really cruel. Right. It's sort of like that movie, uh, A Taste of Honey, with uh, Rita Tushingham. Uh, yeah, a bit like that. Well, he was he was an American soldier, though. I guess he this, uh, but Jackie's father's from from well, the I, I never found out where he's from. Cause it just kind of happened. Everybody kind of was so shocked. Well, we're all we're but all. But it's quite normal like, these days. But in those days. It was a big thing. Yeah, yeah. And I, I felt responsible for, for, for little Jack because it was going to take, take care of him. And I was only a young kid myself. Wow, wow. Well, but, that's, I mean, so, so I had, had some personal experiences. Yeah, so, yeah, so, you, so you, you, you learned, you saw it firsthand, you know what's yeah. going on. So, I mean, so where, where, where are we now? I mean, we're here in New Hope, you're on tour. And um, new album out with your open road open with road. my son Russ. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, well, you've got the whole family here except Russ, but yeah, mine, my oldest son, who's my tour manager, uh-huh. Simon, who's taking care of all sound mm-hmm. and technical stuff. He's very, very really right. good with that. So, so let folks know. I mean, I love the new album. Um, oh, good. It's just, I mean, it's just, I, I think. Well, I like the live albums that you put out. I like all the music that you put out solo, but the live albums are great because they're just fun. And then, but then it just seems like you take your time putting. There's no pressure to release things, so it comes out really good. It's not where we're going. It's not where you've been, or how much money you made. It's how. Because we had worked before on records, more, more like mm-hmm. sci-fi, sort of um, experimental mm-hmm. type work, which 
great fun. We decided to, to write some songs, more like a rock album. Okay. So he'd come up with an idea and a concept, mm -hmm. and I'd work at it a bit, and I'd mm -hmm. hand it back to him, and then he would say, what about? And, mm -hmm. and it's really quite a, an emotional process in working with, so closely with your son. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're, you're close anyway. Right. Right. But like, he kind of peeled off a few more layers that were really quite, mm -hmm. <gasps> you know, those moments right. of like, you had to dig deep in the lyrics? Yeah. Well, is that lyric yours, uh, Path is Long? Uh, like, you, you, f you feel the same that you did inside? Yeah, I, I found it, because it, it was basically Russ's basic ideas, mm -hmm. you know, skeleton ideas for the song. Mm -hmm. And then he wrote a key line for it. Mm -hmm. uh, you and I, we need to trust. Mm. And we, ah, that's it, wow. and that got that's kicked off the album for me, mm. because when you're in that uh, place of trust, mm -hmm. it makes you do things differently. You think and you think, oh, I can say what I like, you know. I feel mm -hmm. strong in that place, mm -hmm. working with someone with that trust, as opposed to coming from a place of anger. Yeah, which which is, what is that? Well, well, I mean, but I'm I'm in, I'm in the same boat. Like the first, I'm, I've been making movies 25 years. So the first 15, it was just to prove something, or out of anger, or to show like you don't understand where I, what I want. And I realize but we need anger is in a way, don't okay. we? I, to, I guess. To, Gets off our feet, off our, off our backside. I guess, but I mean, but if you if you don't if have to stay in it. Yeah. It's when it gets ugly, it's like it takes over yeah. our lives. Well, I got, I got to a point where I said, well, if this never happens in the big way I imagined, I don't want to hold this anger and resentment. So I had no. to find another place for my creativity to come from, and I, I feel it's like I'm much better. Yeah. Self-expression. Mm -hmm. But just for, like going, peeling, that, like you said, peeling that other layer of myself, and that, instead of just like, like going after the perceived thing, coming in terms of like what it is that I want to say, what, what's inside me, so. You know, it seems but, like you but, had that earlier. Yeah, but that's like, that's like a, a that's like a yoga practice. Mm. You're looking within, you know, you look outside, and it's, but when, we should really be looking within first. Mm. So it's, that's the area that we neglect the most. And then we blame everything on what we see. <laughs> when it's the inner work we need to do. Mm -hmm. So it's like a yoga, that, that process. I, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate the time that you've taken uh, with us. I really, I'm looking forward to tonight. I mean, for those who, who aren't here in New Hope, where can they see you perform or get We're going to, <laughs> I've forgotten. Going, bunch of shows. A bunch of shows. We're going to Nashville mm -hmm. and Atlanta. We played New York, which was fabulous. Mm -hmm. I love like, playing New York. And um, I'm still at it, trying to... No, it's got to feel good. It's got to feel good to just be connecting with with your fans again. I yeah, know I this mean, tour was, was postponed a few years ago. You were yeah. supposed to be here, so... Yeah, it was, um, you know, it's playing live. Connect music, connect people, mm -hmm. and share ideas and emotions. And yes, a real troubadour. I mean, and, and thank you for it. Thank you for the time. So. Words of advice, I mean, for those who are, are I mean, I, I feel like we're in a period of change, and a lot of people are, I mean, almost like the 60s, people are yeah. turning on in a way. I mean, what, what piece of advice can you share that will help people get more centered, I suppose? Well, I think, as a, a, you know, in my little, little way, I, I go inward mm -hmm. and try and look at what I've done, what I'm doing, and I, I think, that, that line in, in the path is long, an open road. You and I, we need to trust. Mm -hmm. It's like, it seems an mm -hmm. immense mm -hmm. project, a task. Yeah. But I really think there's, you know, there's a lot in that that we need to reach out to each other. I, well, I think th I think that's your job. I think that's the artist's job because there's so much there's so much conflict. There's always conflict. Yeah. You know, to try and I don't know, that's like create order, but but like bring bring the energy, unify the energy in a way. Because if you know everything's 
energy, that table, mm -hmm. you know, this, this. Mm -hmm. It's you know, we, we we should use develop ways in utilizing our energy in a positive way. I think. I think my view is I think po positive energy is only way up because I think um, it's too late for, for pessimism. I think. Mm -hmm. I think we got really take the ball by horns and move forward mm -hmm. as a hu human race. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I think. I think it um, sounds really. I no, you know, it's, I it's completely. It's a full circle. It's a circle. So just just like I mean, I feel really good about today because I mean, in what is it, 80, 87? I saw you from afar, and now I'm this close. Yeah, and that's I think, cool. I think that um, everybody has that, and and just as Mr. Barry has transitioned and all those things, you're carrying it forward. This information will be carried forward, just in a lot of ways. That the same way that that guitar chord that you also, struck so many years ago. What's so great about art is when you get that trigger from someone like Chuck Berry or Eddie, Eddie Cochran or, or mm -hmm. whoever. A little richer. A little richer was amazing. Yes. It's, I mean, we could talk for hours about yes. that. Yeah. But um, when you get that inspiration, you try and copy and develop your own way of playing and your own mm -hmm. style, then that's how you, you find out about, about yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's an exciting journey, it should be. Right on. I, I love yeah. it. I love it. Well, I mean, I, we're, we're way past our time. I really appreciate you. Oh, yeah. Taking, thank but you I so could much. talk to you all day. <laughs> yes. Oh, we got a slate out? Yeah, just hit a, hit a tail slate, sir. Would you oh, this? Okay, yep. this no, is no, going to be... turn it upside down. Hit, oh, hit tail slate. slate. Yep. All right, tail slate. Tail slate.